，错位的时间，也不顾一切的漫患，肆意嘴对嘴，牵着呼喊的凤，把飞不尽的天边。Yang and I are like the bottom and wise of、uh, Chinese translation. We've been together so long. I don't know that、uh, either of us can imagine working any differently. I started my poetry writing in China at later 1970s, when I was sent to countryside to be so-called re-education during the Cultural Revolution, and then based on the painful experience. Of the Cultural Revolution, I experienced that the whole 1980s, which called the period of introspection of Chinese history, cultural tradition, and also language. We get on very well indeed. He's a he's a good man to work with. He understands. I've worked with poets who don't understand what a translator needs, and they say, "Oh, but it's obvious." Now, if you're not a native Chinese speaker, it won't necessarily be obvious. But Yang somehow, from the beginning, has understood what I need. Well, look back my life, I will have to say that I'm a both outsider and insider of contemporary Chinese poetry. Outsider because I have been live outside China for more than thirty years. So I have a certain distance to look about the、uh, Chinese poetry, but the insider is that that means I maybe be was exiled from China, but actually I was never exiled from Chinese language. My relationship with Yang Lian, well, it's a long one now. We meet maybe two or three times a year if we're lucky. Not, of course,、uh, this year in lockdown. Although we have、um, been involved in Zoom activities, which is a pleasure. Well, he's just one of my oldest friends now,、um, and I mean we have our disagreements like any old married couple. The relationship between poet and translator has something of the quality of a kind of、uh, intellectual marriage. We have to understand each other, or we can't work together. But it doesn't mean we have to always agree with each other. And having said that, that's all I want to say. Thank you for listening.